So you've got 60 minutes to write a full DBQ. And because I read all your comments, I know that a lot of you are not able to write a full DBQ in that amount of time. But what if I told you there's a very simple solution to this problem? And this solution can make it so that you write less and still have the opportunity to earn a five out of seven on this essay. Well, it's true and it's not magic, but my guess is nobody has ever told you about this little trick. So if you're ready to get them brain cows milked, let's get to it. Now, before I tell you this method, let me just say this. If you can write a full DBQ in 60 minutes, then by all means do it. What I'm about to tell you is sort of like an emergency measure. It's for people who've been writing DBQs all year, and no matter what you do, you just can't finish in 60 minutes. And by the way, I relate. I myself am a slow thinker. My brain is not a microwave, it's more like a crock pot. I gotta set things in that brain and let them simmer for a while before I can produce anything of value. But even so, the college board is not interested in giving you all the time you need to produce a brilliant essay. They slap you in a pressure cooker for 60 minutes and see what you can do. So, supposing you just can't get it done, what's the method? Now, to be clear, no method, no matter how powerful, will help you if you don't have a good grasp on the content of your course. So if you need help reviewing the content in the fastest way possible, check out my AP review packs for your course linked below. Okay, now here's the secret sauce. Use only four documents in your essay. Now I know that sounds crazy, but stick with me for a second. Let me explain how to do this so that you can earn maximum points. Now, if you do this, you are highly unlikely to earn the complexity point and you'll miss out on one of the evidence points that requires you to use six documents. But watch this, like watch, here's what you do. First, make sure you read and thoroughly understand the prompt. Mark it up, do all the normal stuff. And if you don't know how to do that, then watch this video video here after you're done with this one. Second, quickly read through all the documents and choose four that you understand well enough to support an argument. Okay, now hold on, side note. If you're familiar with the DBQ scoring rubric, you'll know that in order to earn one point for evidence, you only have to correctly describe three documents, not four. However, I'm suggesting four because that gives you a little bit of insurance. If you interpret one document incorrectly, then you could still earn this point. Okay, third, write your DBQ as you normally would. And then watch this, even with only using four documents, you can still earn the contextualization point, the thesis point, one point for evidence, one point point for evidence beyond the documents and one point for correctly sourcing three of those documents for a grand total of five points. And hear me now, a five out of seven on the DBQ is a really good score. So like I said, write the full DBQ if you can, but if you find yourself short on time, this is a pretty good method to release the pressure and give you some more room to think and write a better essay and hopefully score a decent amount of points. But even if you only use four of the documents, you still need to know how to earn all those other points. And if you don't know, then go watch this video right here. Also, if you need help reviewing quickly, then click here to grab my AP review packs, which have everything you need to get a five on your exam in May. And I'll catch you on the flip-flop. I'm Lerout.